Isaiah 11.2 says that the Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, him meaning Jesus. The Spirit of wisdom and understanding, the Spirit of counsel and might, the Spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. Isaiah 42.1 says, Behold, my servant whom I uphold, my elect one in whom my soul delights, I have put my spirit upon him, and he will bring justice to the Gentiles. Isaiah 61 says, Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. Matthew 3.16 says, When he was baptized, Jesus came up from the water, the heavens opened, and he saw the Spirit of God descending upon Jesus like a dove. Luke heard the Lord say, the Lord God say, This is my beloved Son in whom I am well pleased. John, seeing the Spirit, stay upon the Lord Jesus. So I wanted to break down real quick what each of these verses is talking about. So when it says, The Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him. Spirit, meaning wind breath of heaven, wisdom, spirit of wisdom, the skill to be wise, shrewdness, prudence, spirit of understanding, which is discernment, the ability to act, meaning, and perfectly, the spirit of counsel, which is to give advice, and purpose, the spirit of might, which is strength and valor, bravery, power, and mighty deeds, the spirit of knowledge, which is perception, skill, discernment, understanding, and wisdom, and the fear of the Lord, which is respect, reverence, and piety. So when you put this all together, in Isaiah 11, 2, it says, The Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, and the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge, and the fear of the Lord. This is what rested upon Jesus when he was baptized. He was given the wind and the breath of heaven. He was given skill and shrewdness, prudence and wisdom. He was given discernment. He was given advice. He was given purpose. He was given perception and skill, understanding. He was given strength, valor, bravery. He was given power, mighty deeds, and he was given the ability to respect and reverence his father in heaven. Such a powerful scripture. So I just wanted to share with you guys what I discovered in my Bible study tonight. So when you put all these together, we have one powerful and amazing Lord who is quite capable of helping us and handling any situation that we may encounter. God bless you all.